Gamers and gamets, what is going on? My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another Skyforge video. And in today's video, I just want to talk a little bit about Skyforge, um, how I've been feeling about it for the past, I'm going to say close to a year now. I've been playing Skyforge for almost a year. For those who don't know, um, Skyforge PS4 mar uh, launched March of um, last year and I've been playing it pretty much since launch. Um, from then, from there, I went, um, I did go over to the Xbox One version. And I've been playing that one since launch as well. And I've had a good amount of time on both of these versions of Skyforge where I feel like I can, um, I'm justified to talk about this kind of thing. So what I want to do today was just talk about a few things that I think Skyforge really needs to work on and, um, some stuff, you know, to make it a, just make it a better, a better game in the long run. And the reason I want to do this is because, um, if it hasn't been more than apparent enough, we have a lot of MMO RPGs coming out this year for console. We have Terra coming out for both Xbox One and PS4. We have Black Desert Online coming out for Xbox One, then PS4 at a later time, possibly other platforms. Um, we have rumors of Blade and Soul being in development for, for console. We have Avalon Online coming out for PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. I'm not sure if that's going to be this year, but from what I know, it's aimed for sometime in 2018 we have a lot of things to for for skyforge to compete with and the thing about skyforge is skyforge is more of a instance based mmo it um it can be a little bit difficult for games like this to fight against bigger more open world more open world world titles and one thing I don't ever want to see is this game die. Now the game, the player base on um, on some platforms is a bit on the low end, but the game's far from dead. I'll I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you that much. Um, there's one big problem in this game that gives people the impression that it's dead, and I think this is the number one thing they need to address because so far they've only done this for one version of Skyforge, and this is why I call Xbox One. The superior version of the game and I feel like they need to bring this feature to all platforms and that's cross-region play there is no reason that cross-region play should not be in the PS4 and especially the PC version because the PC version especially because that's where all the veteran players that are helping us console players today started out that's where this game originated from and if the launch on Xbox One has proved anything. Besides the little text chat lag bug that we're going through right now, it's been proven that Skyforge can handle having cross-region play. Now, granted, you know, Microsoft and Xbox, they have a they probably have the best network connection overall. That is, you know, one factor that probably makes it a bit easier on this platform. But PlayStation's network connection isn't terrible. PCs, I'm very sure PCs is really good. So there's no reason that this feature should not be on those other two platforms, especially PS4 of all platforms. PS4 especially because it's the most popular one out of all three of these platforms. There's more players on PS4 than there are on any. Imagine if you could combine all those NA, EU, Oceana, everywhere, just everywhere Skyforge players all on one server on PlayStation 4. You'd probably never have queue, queue issues for dungeons or PvP ever again. Now, granted, you know, it's going to take some stability work, server maintenance and stuff like that. Things are going to be laggy for a little bit. But overall, players are going to have a better experience for the game. One year ago, I used to preach so much about text chat on PS4. And that's because it just didn't, Skyforge didn't have text chat at all on console when it first launched. And that is just really annoying for an MMO. When they brought it, when you put text chat into a game, it gives people one less reason to use a group finder, team finder, queue, whatever you'd like to call it system. Now that's, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, players can use communication to team up instead of just, you know, 
teaming up with randoms that aren't communicating at all. There's nothing wrong with that. But the fact that, you know, group finders are empty and there just may not be people wanting to run the same content you are and those randoms are needed. Group finders, Q finders and all those things, they're still very, very important. And you diminish the use of that when you limit cross region play on these games. Like Skyforge is instance based. There's different, there's multiple instances of every area. Like, yes, there's open world parts in the game, but it's a lot of these free to play MMOs instead of just, you know, having one big mega server for each region and all the players just on one field, there's a bunch of different channels. Skyforge works the same way, except you can't pick your channels. The fact that this game is already split into channels is just more of a reason that cross region, cross region play should be should be in there there's there's just no there's no excuse anymore especially you know after the xbox one version being such a great of a test there's really no reason that this feature shouldn't be in the game and honestly if they do bring this to skyforge ps4 and pc i honestly think it'll give people a lot better of an impression with the game it'll make pvp queues better dungeon queue times better There'll be more players running around the open world areas in the observatory, stuff like that. It just, it's a more vibrant, bigger, and just healthy environment at, at all times. Like you guys can ask anyone that plays Xbox. It's a good feeling. It's an amazing feeling to get on Skyforge on a Monday morning. Mind you, you know, where people or most people are at work, you know, working their nine to fives and stuff like that and see a full observatory because there's cross region play. There's people on the other side of the world who just, you know, who just woke up or just getting ready to go to bed doing their late night game grind, standing around, you know, looking for other players to play with in the queues and everything in the observatory. That's a great feeling. When you play a game and you're very passionate about it, one thing that sucks, especially with an MMO, is logging on and seeing nobody there and you and sometimes and trust me it can kill player morale i'm talking about this from personal experience it can be a crappy feeling just logging on and being like wow i'm the only person that that plays this game now there's plenty of people that play skyforge ps4 plenty of people that play in all kinds of different regions but the game just makes itself look like there's less people playing because there's no cross region cross region servers skyforge ps4 was obviously a very successful game hence why they bought a dev kit for xbox the game had to do well on console love it or hate it that's the facts and we all know dev kits aren't cheap so what could be the only possible problem limiting skyforge ps4's queue times dungeon times group finding difficulty and stuff like that the limitation of cross region play. But anyway, guys, um, I just want to talk about that with you all. Be sure to share your com- your um, comment thoughts in the comments below. But anyway, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.